Let's be honest, as soon as everyone saw the starting 11 in that game, we expected that result. But I'm not overly disappointed. I'll be honest, I don't really care. And I know that might sound bad saying that. I don't care whether United win or not, but we've secured top four prior to tonight. We've got Liverpool in two days. We had Villa two days ago. Three games within seven days because of the fixture pileup because of the protest. We're already in the Europa League final. That's the only game that matters for Manchester United this season. And the fact that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made 10 changes and Mason Green was the only player who played against Villa at the weekend, it goes to show that is exactly the case. Tonight was not important for United. It was important for Liverpool. It's quite a shame there that we uh, lost for you, really, isn't it? I mean, I don't care. I don't give a shit about you, but I, I quite enjoy that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should be more bothered than I am right now. Maybe a lot of you are going to be quite annoyed with me uh, with the fact that I'm not. But United have already secured what we can in the Premier League this season, and winning tonight. Look, let's be honest. Like that first 45 minutes, we had 10 changes. Ahmad making his Premier League debut. Elanga making his debut. Van der Beek starting in a double pivot with Matic. Does that even happen this season? Twanzevi with Bay at the back. Tellez, Williams, De Gea, Matter. Four changes apart from Greenwood, who was a gunman, by the way. I'm definitely going to Greenwood. But United in that first 45, given that Leicester were chasing and still are chasing a top four finish, um, full strength team from them. I thought United played well in that first half. You know, apart from the back five who looked drunk or high or I don't know what they were doing. Alex Tellez in the first 15 minutes, like that's where their goal came from. An unreal volley. I think it was by Thomas. Unreal goal by him, but. Tellez was just not defending at any point. Uh, Bayern into Andrew making strange passes. Williams at one point, I remember passing it back to De Gea when Vardy was like, are you really going to do that? But United went the other end and Mason Green would score again. I think that's his seventh or eighth goal in his last seven or eight domestic games. Mason Greenwood is in unreal form. And that goal was great. Matter with the ball over the top. Ahmad, given the fact that he weighs about three kilos... Not nudging the defender off, turning it back. Nice little square pass. Greenwood shoulder onto the right foot into the bottom left-hand corner. Just a beautiful, clinical, elite-level striker finish. He's absolutely got to go to the Euros. And Mason Greenwood is going to be great for Manchester United. 17 goals now he's scored for Man United in the Premier League as a teenager. More than anybody else in history. More than Rooney. More than Ronaldo. More than Whiteside. Well, Whiteside obviously wasn't in the Premier League. But more than anybody. And that is a record that is his to hold and his to probably even better because, you know, we've got Wolves left, we've got Fulham left. I'm sure Mason Greenwood's going to be scoring maybe against Liverpool on Thursday. That's why Greenwood was taken off because he'll be playing and starting in that game. Matic, I thought, played very, very well. If you're looking at the positive performances, Matic there in the shop window looking like prime Matic. What was he doing? Well, he was playing well. That's what he was, what he was doing. Which kind of surprised me because every time I've ever seen Matic really in a double pivot, I don't think it suits him. I think it always suits him better when he plays as an individual defensive midfielder. But if there were plenty of positives to take from that first half, there's hardly anything really to take from the second. Leicester, as I, because Leicester, that's a team that won the league a few years ago. It's a team with plenty of seasoned professionals in it uh, that knew, uh, especially what happened last year, because we were the team that knocked them out of the Champions League last year. They didn't want to a round two. And given that we have Fernandes, Pogba, Rashford, Cavani... Everybody on the bench, it, it really was an opportunity. Although I think Chris Sutton must have said that about 94 times on BT Sport. But it was an opportunity to Leicester took because they improved massively in the second half. And United didn't really have an answer. We obviously made some subs. We brought Rashford and Cavani on. Ollie, I'm not sure what you were doing there, by the way. Bringing those on just for a corner. Uh, it's a bit of a rookie Sunday league type mistake. It's kind of an unwritten rule of football. You don't make subs when you're on a corner. Powerful header by Sonshu. And Leicester deserved it. Leicester deserved the win and United didn't deserve the win. But United did not need the win. All we needed there was no injuries. And for that game to pass us by because we've got Liverpool coming. And I'm sure that's going to be a tense affair. And I hope the protests happen. Uh, but seeing as how much... it was, It's insane how much money United have spent tonight on police, riot gear, barriers. I'm going to do a video on it. It's insane given that Old Trafford, the roof tonight, again, is leaking. But we can get police and stop the fans communicating and saying what they want, can't we? But that, as I said, look, maybe I should be more annoyed that United have just lost a game of football. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a game of football which is, which bears no relevance and has no impact on the, on the rest of the season. Sure, 
it will be brilliant to win all the rest of our games. Beat Leicester, beat Liverpool, beat Fulham, win the Europa League, you know, beat Wolves, win them all. But in reality, there's only one match that really matters and that will be spoken about past this season. And that's the game against Villarreal. That's where our focus has been for a long, long time, where my focus has been for a long, long time. And because of our good performances in the Premier League, we've secured top four. We don't have to have that panicked rush that we had last year. Remember that game against Leicester on the last day of the season? Oh, mate, the whole season of what happened next year rode on that 90 minutes. And it doesn't as much this year. Even if we don't win the Europa League, we win the Champions League next year. But I'm pretty sure we will. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the focus of everybody. Hopefully, Harry Maguire is going to be fit for that game. He was there tonight on crutches and it'll be a real shame. Given that you saw uh, Bayern to Anzebe and their lack of communication. They're like, I suppose it was the first time those two have played together. It might even be the first time they actually played together or we'll started a game. But United's rotated players didn't do anything really tonight to show Ole Gunnar Solskjaer that they've got to go in that team next week. I think Ahmad Diallo should be very happy with his performance. I'll be honest. I think he was he did what he could do. I like watching him play. I think we've got to play to him more. I think he's going to need balls in behind. He's, he's a very petite, slight footballer. So he's going to struggle to come when it comes to maybe beating a man in a physical sense, but he, he's clever enough to get past him in other ways. And that's the sort of player he strikes me as Anthony Langer. He'll be happy with his debut simply to get on. I think if he hadn't had injuries this season, he would have made his debut earlier. It's a real shame for him. But Langer, I think his runs were getting ignored quite a while, but that's what happens when you're playing Matic and maybe Van der Beek slightly deeper. They don't really see those passes. Pogba might have seen them. Bruno might have seen them, but neither of those two did. And... Mason Greenwood, by far and away, he looked like the senior player tonight. He's 19. He looked like the senior player on that pitch. And he was the only senior player. He was the only player who started against Villa that started tonight. That's how much faith Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has in the gunman at the moment. He's going to be great. He's going to the Euros. He's going to score so many more goals for United. But United lost tonight. 2-1 to Leicester. Fair play to them. They deserved it on that second half performance. I thought, given that we made 10 changes, we played pretty well in that first half, even though our defence was just so shaky. So, so shaky. But it goes to show the importance of having certain players in defence, like Harry Maguire, maybe. You can let me know about that in the comments below. Who's your man of the match? If anybody says anything apart from Greenwood, I'm going to ban you for life. I won't ban you. But let me know. If it wasn't Greenwood, who do you think it was? Should I be more annoyed? the fact that we lost there tonight or do you agree with me it was a dead rubber game and it probably pissed off Liverpool fans that's a real shame make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel until next time take it easy